going on predators travis here today we're going to be talking about a ram hunt that dean and chris and i went on uh, where we basically went out into central texas into mason and we went out there stalking some rams and some sheep out there uh, we had texas doll ram catalina ram corsican a whole bunch of different types of uh, rams out there to go hunt before we get started this video i just want to talk about our sponsor which is easy veins easy veins are some of the easiest flushing systems you can buy and you can actually slide these things on and change your fletches in the field if you need to do a repair. Uh, recently took these out to Total Archery Challenge and they uh, were really great. We actually stuck some of the veins where I almost penetrated a uh, 3D target completely. The veins actually cut into the foam and were completely fine with no damage so I was able to keep shooting there. But had one of them gotten damaged, a field repair would be the easiest thing in the world. Just take my knife, strip the veins off, pull it off, slide a new one on and we're ready to shoot. So, thanks for Easy Veins for supporting the channel, and thank you guys for checking out Easy Veins. One of the best ways that you can help grow this channel and get more of this kind of content, though, is to just comment below and help us bring this video up in the YouTube algorithm. Tell me what you think about it, whether you like it, whether you hate it. I love to see all your feedback, and I respond to almost every comment that you leave on here, even the spam ones. So, thanks for watching, guys, and let's get into the show. So it wasn't too long into the hunt until we were able to uh, stock up on a group of rams that were probably about 25 or 35 yards away. Um, we were able to find a, you know, a good herd of them, but they weren't really anything that we wanted to shoot. So we were kind of talking with the guys real quietly and picking out the ones that we wanted. But again, we didn't really quite see anything in this group that we wanted to shoot.
We were able to stock up on a doll ram about 150 yards. Too long of a shot for a bow, but this was a great sized ram, something we would all be excited to shoot. So we ended up following this group of goats down to a part where we could get a little bit closer to them, but still be obscured from view. Once we got close enough to them that they weren't scared of us, uh, but we were able to get a little bit closer and actually get a good shot within bow range. We ended up setting up and Dean found a really good black Hawaiian ram. The shot rang true, went right into the vitals, broke through all the way to the other side of the shoulder, and uh, within just a few moments this ram was down and out, only about 5 or 10 yards from where he was shot. So almost immediately after, Chris was able to stock up on a herd of Corsican ram that weren't too far away from where we were already and be able to sneak up on them to get a shot. I'm a good wingman. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> my, new nickname, my new nickname is the Cupcake. Yeah, I'm the same, man. The Cupcake. Pretty lucky Cupcake. Hey, man, I'm flying you up to your own thing. I'm following you everywhere, bro. <laughs> So finally our guide Ash was able to get me up on a uh, few group of about three or four different rams. We tried getting them at a shot of about, it was about 57 yards uphill. Um, they were on top of this mountain, but by the time I could get clear of some trees and shrubs and things, it was uh, the shot had expired. And so we basically jumped off the rocks, we headed down the hill and chasing after him.
Nice. Hell. Thanks for watching this video, Predators. Thanks for joining us on this hunt. It was a lot of fun, and I hope to go out there and do it again sometime. I think coming up soon, we're going to be doing a pig hunt. Unfortunately, I missed turkey season due to having to work my day job. So if you really want to have more content produced here, you want to see me do more hunting and gear reviews and things like that, support the channel by go checking out Easy Veins. You can also check out my website at apod.company.site. And even just by commenting down below and helping us grow this uh, video in the YouTube algorithm, it's going to help us reach more people, which will help us out and help me bring more content to you guys. So. Thanks for watching this far in the, in the video, guys. Thanks for uh, tuning into the channel. As always, guys, keep defying the odds.